Good evening ladies and gentlemen and hello, how's everybody getting on? So Saturday, day number 34 of the Cambridge 60 day weight loss challenge and yeah, still feeling very good. Way in day today, so lost another pound, so that's good. Not as much as I'd hoped for but um, due to circumstances I am retaining a lot of water. Um, so next week I should have the big drop. So basically moral of the story is stick with it, stay on it and you lose, even though it's just a pound, as everybody says, a pound's a pound. So that's two pound in two weeks, which is a kilogram. In the grand scheme of things, you think, oh, it's just a pound. But see when you're carrying that and it weighs up and it's on your bones every day, day in, day out. And I've lost 102 of these little buggers. Um, then, you know, I'm... I couldn't carry that. That's another person on my shoulders, day in, day out. Basically knackering my feet, knackering my joints, knackering my everything. So any extra weight that you're carrying, it'll just, it's just better not to have it. Um, and the Cambridge Weight Plan is the best way that I found to get rid of it. And quite quickly. So, um, yeah, still feeling really good. As you can see, still got the cold. Still got sore nose, um, haven't bothered my teeth just now, teeth are awfully, awfully sensitive, so I'm, it's very difficult for me to drink water at the moment, basically because, sorry, hang on a minute, I'll put this on mute, sorry, halfway through watching Point Break, not good, but fantastic movie, see if you've never seen Point Break, you totally have to watch it, that was a bit rude, me starting a vlog with a, with them. Um, there we go, that's better, um, starting a vlog with actually having something on. So this weekend we are out at my sister's house, me and my good fella, um, my sister and her man and we baby niece are all out here. So having a fabulous weekend in the countryside in the middle of nowhere, which is good, which is why the vlogs are late because there is no really decent any Wi-Fi connection. Plus if you're staying at somebody's house it feels a bit rude to go, oh hang on a minute I just need to go vlog. Um, but yeah. Uh, so my sister, she's a vegetarian, so she is very much a healthy cook anyway, which helps, so there's lots of veggies, so as I said, it was like stepping up to step three, I needed a lot of kind of more iron and um, protein and stuff this weekend anyway, due to my special circumstances, blah blah blah, um, but yeah, I'm still feeling good, I am looking tired because it's bedtime. But all in all, yeah, could could have probably done with more water. Been drinking a lot of tea, as I said, having problems with my teeth. Um, water is difficult to drink because it's just causing a sharp pain in my teeth because of the sensitivity of it all. So, um, got the Sensodyne out, got the special toothbrush out, and hopefully it will kind of not be as bad very shortly. But I'll need to just keep going with the Sensodyne and see how I get one. But yeah. So, was swimming today as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to recap and think what I've been doing. Went swimming, home, grabbed a cup of tea on the way to the way in. Went, had a way in, lost a pound, so that's good. It's all the positive. Any, any loss is a good loss. And always just keep going. Doesn't matter what weight you are. If you stick to your plan 100%, you have a guaranteed weight loss every single time. And it doesn't matter, basically, what you're doing and what you're not doing. If you take on um, your water and do your products and that's it, any exercise is a bonus because it's good for you to keep you moving and it's moderate, to, mild to moderate exercise. So swimming's good because it's not weight-bearing. So if you are heavier, then non-weight-bearing exercise is the best thing to do because you don't want to start, like, walking or jogging or running if you're 22 stone because your knees and your joints can take it because anything that you are overweight is times four on your joints so um before i started doing the cambridge plan i was well i was double the weight i was supposed to be so that is two times four so that's eight times the amount of weight so for each pound of extra weight that i was carrying it was like four pounds on my knees and four pounds on my feet. My feet used to kill me. Like I was seriously, it took me ages to get out of chairs and ages to get moving after I'd sat down. 
I had, I mean, I was working on my feet all day, every day, and it was hard graft. But see, with carrying that extra weight around, my feet were just done. And it was a case of, I plantar fasciitis was one thing, but also the extra weight was just totally and utterly killing me. But in my back as well, I do have problems and issues with my back because I hurt it when I was younger. But see now, it's not half as bad as it used to be. So, must be doing something right. So all I'm saying is, stick with the plan, no matter how hard it gets, because what would you rather be? Would you rather be unhealthy or unhealthy and happy for a long time? Or just, you know, a, a craving lasts 20 minutes. It's the same as cigarettes. It's the same as everything. Um, I'm not really big on the alcohol, so I wouldn't be able to comment on that. But as an ex-smoker, then a cigarette craving lasts 20 minutes. If you can get through that 20 minutes without a cigarette, then you just keep going. And that's how I did my smoking was a minute at a time. If I got hard, a day at a time. If I got hard an hour at a time, if I got harder than a minute at a time, I just break it down and keep getting through and keep getting through it and try not to kill people on the way through. And as much as you think you want and crave chocolate or want and crave sugar or want and crave, I don't know, crisps or whatever, see, at the end of the day, if you do that, how unhappy are you going to be that you've abandoned your plan or, you know, set your, put yourself a setback? So learning how to deal with those setbacks is probably the key. Also had a total breakthrough talking to my sister tonight. So um, a while back we were talking about, obviously, when I was in the car, it was started off with the smoking, then it was the eating, and then it was, um, now it's water and coffee that I have, but it's always a hand-to-mouth thing. And we figured out that basically, back in the day, well, about 30-odd year ago, um, I used to suck my thumb when I was younger, as most weans actually do. So, I mean, I, I mean, I was uh, all the time, and it was so bad that my teeth came right far out, and I used to be able to fit, well, as my brother took great pleasure in, trying to fit a pound coin between my teeth. So, it's a total comfort, comfort thing. So, I need to understand why this is a comfort, and what I'm trying to comfort myself from. So I need to tackle kind of issues of, I don't know, it's all a learning curve, I suppose, but that was a very interesting point. Um, That's a link that basically, from day one, the hand-to-mouth was a comfort, and then I started smoking when I was 15, so that was a comfort. And then food's always been a comfort. So, we'll see. We'll see if we can replace that with anything else. But I need to figure out why I use food the way I do. This weekend I have been kind of quite well restrained. Um, Generally I am. When I'm around people I don't, you know, obviously a secret eater, secret binger, secret dieter and all the rest of it. But I was, I had my food. And I was quite well restrained in the fact of what I had. Um, you know, scrambled egg, beans and uh, vegetables, sweet potato wedges, things like that. I mean, I mean good nutritionist food as opposed to the crap that I would normally go for. So this is probably why I'm still feeling quite good. I, fair enough, I have had some carbohydrates. But at the end of the day, they're not bad carbohydrates. They're all nutritionist carbohydrates and the carbohydrates come from vegetables so when carbohydrates come from vegetables they're a lot cleaner than they are when they come from obviously white bread and sugar so I shouldn't have any any bad side effects obviously I had to stop it up to step three for the weekend well I didn't have to but I kind of wanted to because I wanted to be able to go over to my sister's and enjoy her cooking and you know the whole kind of very relaxed atmosphere so I did, I had a, a lovely Saturday, had a lovely swim, Had it was a beautiful day, so I enjoyed the sunshine, and all in all, fantastic wee, wee day, and yeah, looking forward to tomorrow, and 
seeing where it all takes us. Um, but apologies for the lateness of the vlog. As I said, internet connection has been totally nutly rubbish. I finally managed to sort it out and hopefully everything will be back on track very shortly. But I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Hope everybody has been enjoying the sunshine and loving their Saturdays and hope everybody is sticking on plan. And remember, if you're struggling at the step you're on just now, say if you're on step 1A, which can be an absolute nightmare and if you've fallen off the wagon, getting back on step 1A is a killer. So if you're struggling, step 1A or step 1B or step 2, speak to your consultant. Speak about st stepping up for a week stepping up for two weeks and then stepping back down that's what the steps are there for that's what the plan's designed for it's designed to get you to your goals but only you can do it it's not up to your consultant to you know they're there to help you and they're to support you but at the end of the day it's you who's responsible for putting the food in your mouth and nobody can force feed you chocolate it's you that takes them makes that decision to go out and buy yourself the food that you shouldn't be buying and it's you that's decided to go in the plan in the first place. So you're kind of totally and utterly contradicting yourself. And, and I'm justified. I've done it. And, you know, so I know exactly how everybody's feeling when they're like, oh, I could just go to the shop and just buy that or just eat that or just have that. You know, there's um, sweeties in the, the, the office at work. And bearing in mind, I used to be like surrounded by food all day, every day. And to cope with that was more difficult than anything. But you are in complete control of what you put in your mouth. On that note, I'm going to say night-night and I will speak to you all tomorrow. And I hope everybody's having a good and productive Saturday and enjoying the fabulous sunshine before the snow comes next week. Right, I shall speak to you all tomorrow. And yeah, have a good time. Bye bye.